Okay, please another golem kills my dude and kills my tank master probably. There we go. So I think we have to play our first Avenging Wrath and hope that we'll be really lucky here. One, two, 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 two. Perfect, perfect. All right. At least we got rid of the Devil Sore. Truth is my shield. Le Sunwalker. Okay. So I wonder, should we play the Pyromancer Consecration combo yet? We would kill the 2-1 Golem and kill his brother as well. Also, we will get rid of the Divine Shield. And we wouldn't really lose anything. Yep, let's do it. Do you like to play with fire? Let's see if it works as planned. Alright, let's go. And now the Pyro deals one damage. And next turn we can kill the Sunwalker with the Truce of a Champion. Unless he buffs it somehow. Whew, overall I think it was an okay play. I do think so. Innervate. Oh, sh shit. Uh oh. Okay, we can kill the Sunwalker and play Ragnaros next turn. If we, if we play Ragnaros right now, we might have the chance to kill his Ragnaros in return. But if we don't... Okay, is there any other way we can turn this around? If we kill the Soundwalker, we'll take... 10 damage. Which brings us to 6. So, anyway, we have to do the gamble. We have to do the gamble. Only chance. Only chance to come back. Yes! The R and Jesus. The R and Jesus here. I, I specifically bought this chain or this pendant here to get the R and Jesus. Well, GG. The victory. <laughs> 